here and welcome to my chat time and today I have well a few odds and ends. I want to start with uh, a little tip, something I've been using in my mixed media and that is hot pads. These are hot pads you know to you use to pick up hot things and they come with a really nice uh, texture. Uh, in the meantime, I picked up three different ones. This one has little waves and because of its soft kind of bouncy material, they make really good stamps and I will show you how they work. I got this one, I think in a secondhand store, this one in one of those little Chinese stores. I think I paid a dollar fifty for it. It has these little uh, beehive shapes and then I just picked up this one at Target actually and it was three dollars. Okay, maybe a bit more than the others but it's pretty cool so let me show you how they work now i often pick up things i think could be uh, good stencils and things like this but these are stamps and the nice thing is that they are moldable and bent so if you want just a little background stamping you can avoid the edges and look what a nice crisp image they make of course, you need to ink it up again. There we go. Pretty cool. And let's do this one. I think they work really well. There we go. We got the little beehive. Pretty cool. And then this one, I don't use it as much, but it comes in handy as well. And you get the little lights. I'm always on the lookout for more because I'm sure there are many more designs out there. And this is of course nothing more than a kitchen liner. And if any of you have not tried them before, they make fantastic stamps. There you go. And it works really well in the background if you just, oops, if you just want to have a little texture. So they are very inexpensive. And they really come in handy and I really like to use them. And now, of course, I got it all over my hands. So let me clean that up. All right, better. Now, if you're careful, you don't have to get it all over your hand. Anyway, this was just uh, something else I like to use. Repurposing is something I really enjoy. And the second thing is Happy Mail. I got a Happy Mail from Peg Robinson. And of course, I will put a link to her channel in my description box. This is a card she made. She's a mixed media artist and she does really good work. So please uh, visit her. She also sent me her little business card and it's really cool. I think it must have been alcohol ink design. Very pretty. Thank you so much, Peg. And she sent me some incense and they say Taurus on it. How did you know I was a Taurus? So this is really fun. I used to love, love, love these when I was a hippie. And I still do. And these are nice. They are jasmine. Smell really nice. Thank you. And then, well, she sent me some jelly um, plate prints. And she really does a very good job with these jelly plates. I'm still very new to it. And she just recently posted a video where she showed some of the materials she was using to get this great designs. And I will put the link to that in my iCard. And it's very informative and it's really helping me to get back to my jelly plates. Now, I think these are also jelly plate prints, but they also have an amazing texture. So she must have added something else and I'm not sure what it is. These are leaves and these are like circular designs, but I already have a project in mind where I can use this. She also sent me this, which has some great either texture paste. Yeah, I think it's texture paste and a really nice design and I love the color, very metallic looking. So I surely will use this. And some more, I guess this is a deli paper to try out. Some little stickers, some flower stickers. And she sent me these really cool big tags. And I love to make something out of those. So you will be seeing these in one of my upcoming videos for sure. So thank you again, Peg. And isn't it fun to get happy mail? I really enjoy it because it adds 
all these elements to your stash which you would otherwise probably never get so i really enjoy it and the last thing i want to talk about is just uh, vacation summer vacation well i'm gonna go camping in just a few days and i will be taking a week off just to let you know so hopefully i will be back let me just see oops i should have had this ready okay september the 5th on labor day i should be back on with some more videos and um, don't miss me too much but i will take a week off just so you know all is well i'm just enjoying the colorado mountains all right see you then you also have a fun summer bye bye for now